Okay, we're gonna start today out with a quick cocktail, one of my favorites in old fashioned. Our, your typical ingredients for old fashioned are sugar, maraschino cherries, oranges, bitters, and ice cubes, but we're not gonna do that. So we have these sweet cherries that I make myself just for my drinks. And these ice cubes that have a slice of orange in them, one of my cherries, and a couple splashes of bitters inside of here. And our bourbon is Cast Strength Maker's Mark. So we'll crush a couple cherries in there. Squeeze in our oranges. Instead of sugar, we'll use a little bit of the syrup for my cherries. So we're not just getting the sweetness, we're adding flavor to it as well. And that's it. The, the nice thing about this is when I'm ready for my second one, I already have more bitters, I've already got more orange, and I've already got more cherry in there. All I have to do is pour more bourbon on top. Okay, so today we're gonna cook some fish and we're gonna make hollandaise sauce. And I, I'm not gonna give you a bunch of recipes, but I want, want you to take away from this is the methods and then personalizing them for yourself. So, in my personal opinion, if you go to the store and you're gonna buy fish and the fish, the little tags on and the market say previously frozen, instead of getting the ones that are already thawed out in the case, just ask them for frozen ones because that fish may have been sitting there for two days and if you're gonna buy fish that's been frozen anyhow, go ahead and get it frozen and thaw it out yourself and then you know it's only one day old, right? But the important thing is, was when it comes in these little vacuum packed bags, when you go to thaw it out, you have to poke a hole in the bag because it is vacuum packed. So as it thaws, if you don't poke a hole in the bag, it'll suck the moisture out of the fish as it thaws. Then the other very important thing is too, is after you thaw it out, you want to dry it very, very well between towels. So we're gonna dry this really good. I said before the whole idea behind what I want to show you all is to make what you want what you like so what we like we like our food kind of spicy so I'm gonna take this blackening seasoning and I'm not gonna blacken this fish but I'm just going to season it with this Cajun spice to make it just a little spicy I'm gonna season it on both sides. Now we're just gonna let this sit while we make our hollandaise sauce. To make our hollandaise sauce, we're gonna start out with two egg yolks. I'm gonna take a half of a lemon and squeeze the juice in the bowl. And now all I have in here is the juice of half of a lemon and my two egg yolks. And then we're going to come over here to the stove where we have some simmering water. It's not at a rolling boil, it's just a simmer. And we're going to start slowly cooking that. And you'll notice that as it starts cooking, it, the egg yolks will start getting thicker. This is really, really simple to do. Now you can see now that the egg yolks are getting thicker. And as we're moving the whip across the bottom of the bowl, it's scraping the bottom of the bowl clean. And that's what we're looking for. It only took a couple seconds. 
I have here is very, very soft butter. You can see it's very, very soft. And we're going to whip that into our egg yolks. And now, as you can see here, it's, it's pretty thick. So I want to thick, thin it out just a little bit. If you want to, you can add more lemon juice. If you like a lot of lemony flavor, or I'm just gonna take a little splash of water and add it to that. Just a splash, that's like half of a teaspoon. Now, we add a little bit of cayenne pepper, just a little bit. And this is now classic hollandaise sauce. But, what we're gonna do is personalize our hollandaise sauce. Hollandaise is a mother sauce. And what a mother sauce is, is one of the basic sauces that you can add dozens of different things to and turn it into whatever sauce that you want it to be. But, like I said, we're gonna personalize this for ourselves. Myself and my family, we like spicy food. So I'm gonna add a little bit of this pepper relish that I make myself. And we're gonna add some fresh cilantro to it. And that's just what we like. You might like to add some maypoy to it, some sweet Thai chili sauce. Or you might like to add, if we were having salmon, I would be putting Dijon mustard and fresh tarragon in here from out of my garden. But it's all up to you and what you like. That's what I want you to take away. We have the basic hollandaise, then turn it into what you want and what you like. Now we're gonna cook the fish. So I have my cast iron skillet on medium high heat. I'm gonna add a little bit of olive oil. And then we'll add our fish, our fish to it. Your rule of thumb for cooking fish is 10 minutes per inch of thickness. And this fish is a little less than an inch thick, so we're gonna figure about seven minutes to cook it. Well done. If you want your fish done a little less than that, then back it off from there. And by the way, this is Mahi Mahi that we're cooking. So we're gonna cook it for about seven minutes. I've got my oven on 400 degrees. Okay, so it's been about a minute on this first side. So I'm gonna turn my fish over and you can see it's got a nice pretty sear on that side. Now, before I pop it in the oven, I'm gonna let it cook for about 30 seconds on this side. That'll take us to about two minutes. So we know we're gonna need about five minutes in the oven once we put this pan in the oven and it should come out perfect. Okay, so now I'm gonna throw this in the oven. And while that's in there, I've got the water that I simmered my uh, Hollandaise in. I'm gonna throw in some fresh green beans out of our garden. Let them blanch for just a minute. Then in this skillet right here, I had rendered a little bit of bacon and I caramelized the shallot in the bacon fat. I'm gonna let this get hot again while these green beans are cooking. I'm gonna let these green beans sit in here for about two minutes. A little crunch to them, so I blanched them for about 10 minutes. I'm gonna put them in this pan with my bacon grease and caramelized shallots. And then again, this is just how I like them. You can make them however you like, but the principle is the same. Add a little salt and pepper. Throw the rendered bacon back in there. And like I said, we like spicy, so I'm gonna add a little bit of this sweet Thai chili sauce to my green beans. These are gonna be great. 
Okay, it's been just about exactly seven minutes. I'm gonna take my fish out of the pan. As you can see, it's cooked perfectly. So I'm gonna put my sauce over the top. Remember I put the, my uh, pepper mix that I make myself and fresh cilantro in here, but you can put anything that you like in here. That's the important thing that I want you to realize is you can make this however you want, however you like. You don't need to make just straight hollandaise or you don't need to make any of the classic sauces you make out of hollandaise. Make what you like. I'm gonna add a little bit of avocado to this. In my baked potato, I've got this roasted garlic butter that I made with fresh scallions in it as well. When you make your, uh, if you make a butter like this, if you add olive oil to it, it'll keep it soft even when it's cold so you can spread it. And there's our green beans. We're ready to eat. Life is good, live it well.